Hey everybody, it's Eileen with Trinity in McLean, Virginia. I just wanted to share our devotion time today by looking at the Lord's Prayer. I am going to be looking at the version because it's in more than one of the Gospels. In Matthew 6, this is verses 9 through 13. And we're going to look at sort of the first half of it and what it means to us today. And uh, then later this week, we'll be looking at the rest of it. So I'm going to read through the whole thing first. It starts out, pray then in this way. And that's how Jesus was teaching his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we are also forgiven our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into this time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. You'll notice that the rest of it that we normally say, which is the doxology for that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, that was added on later. That is not in um, the original in the Gospels. So if we look at... Um, the beginning of it, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. We start out with giving God glory. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's so important because it was a message that Jesus lived throughout his entire time of teaching. It was that we were praying for God's kingdom to come. And God's kingdom is here and among us. The question is, how are we living into it as kingdom people? How do we live that out? And Jesus goes on and teaches us um, in the rest of this prayer some of the ways that we can live it out by being kingdom people. And, and that is, first of all, by giving God praise and reflecting on who God is and God's kingdom and what that means. God's kingdom where there is equality for all people. God's kingdom where there is enough for everyone to eat. God's kingdom where everyone is healthy and everyone supports and loves each other and treats each other with kindness and grace. So Jesus is asking that God's kingdom be made aware and present to everyone who is here this day so that we will live today as kingdom people and not view God's kingdom as something to come in after the time that we die and are no longer on this earth. So we're praying God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that's a recognition that God's kingdom coming to earth, that God's will, the peace and the love and, and everything that is good for everyone, that everyone has enough, that that's God's kingdom brought to earth. Give us this day our daily bread. And that also falls into living into God's kingdom. Give us this day our daily bread is not just food, but it is shelter, it is companionship, it is love, it is the ability to forgive that we will see uh, later on in this prayer. It is everything that is in God's kingdom and God's will for us that is done on earth as it is in heaven. So I hope that this gives you a little more reflection of what the Lord's Prayer is, that we say it sometimes and maybe not think about the depth of all of it, all that it means. Please join me in prayer. Loving God, we give you thanks for God come to earth in the form of Jesus. And we give you thanks that Jesus did teach us how to pray. So help us every time we say the Lord's Prayer to fully think about what it means and how we can be kingdom people. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.